so here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 width i mean uh, frame rate is 30 duration one minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i am going to press ctrl n to create another composition over here and uh, width we are going to take 700 and height 100 and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of uh, uh, composition and let's type our text and for the font i am going to choose monster art you can choose whatever font you want and now we will type our text so let's type nick and let's choose black version of this font and increase the font size let's make this full resolution go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center hit ctrl k to open the project settings and let's type make over here okay select this go to the align tab and over here we are going to choose align right okay select this and let's a little bit move this over here now select this mix and hit ctrl d double click to open this and this time let's bring this at the center and we will change the text self okay like this and let's bring this a little bit over here like this also copy this text hit ctrl k to open the composition settings and apply it over here over here also uh, copy this text hit ctrl k and apply now select this yourself hit ctrl d double click to open this and change the text better select this go to the align tab align it right and just move this over here copy this text hit ctrl k and hit better hit ctrl d double click to open this and type every day select this go to the align tab and align left and just move this a little bit over here okay now uh, hit ctrl k and type every day over here okay so this is our four text now we will animate this layers now select this make press p for position create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this over here out of this composition select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move sorry we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation and uh, otherwise hit f9 again go to the graph and we will select this and we will move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this so we will get this fast animation okay press f4 and enable the motion blur now uh, we will copy this position hit ctrl c and we will go to the better over here we will select this and hit ctrl v hit u and at the start i am going to bring this out of this composition and over here we will bring this at proper position like this so we will get the same amount of speed over an animation over here now go to the yourself select this press p for position create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames create another keyframe go to the start and we will bring this yourself over here now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so you will get this kind of animation now copy this keyframe hit ctrl c go to the everyday text select this and hit ctrl v hit u select this let's bring this over here go over here and let's bring this properly over here so we will get something like this 
now what we are gonna do we will go to the main animation over here and we will bring one by one let's bring our make over here and let's go few frame forward like this okay but before that what we will go we will go to this make press ctrl y and we will add one solid layer with red color and bring this downward select this copy paste it over here paste it over here and paste it over here like this okay now let's go over here press s little bit and increase the size press y or don't press y just simply move this over here now hit ctrl d make sure to your snapping is on and we will bring this over here now select this hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and we'll bring down over here now all we need to do is we need to replace this composition so select this uh, we will replace it with yourself so find yourself comp and by holding alt we will drag and drop this on this one then select this make we will select this better and drag and drop we will select this we will drag and drop and replace with LED so if you see we will get this kind of animation now press F4 select all of them and convert them into 3D and let's make this fit like that but before that we need to do certain changes we will select this we will press Y and we will bring our anchor point over here we will select this we will bring our anchor point over here this over here and this over here and then we will convert this layer into 3d and press r for rotation like this now we need to change it on y-axis so select this make and we will make it 45 degree select this let's make it minus 45 select this y let's make this 45 let's make this minus 45 okay let's make this fit right click new and create one null object just for now select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press p let's bring this null downward press s for scaling option and scale it and let's bring this over here and let's give it this null object now right click new and create one camera over here and angle of view let's make it 120 okay and press p for zoom in a little bit let's double click and let's try 100 let's zoom out a little bit like this if you see we will get something like this now after this right click new and create one null object convert this null object into 3d and we will go to the top view and we will select this null object and we will bring this somewhere around over here in between this triangle over here like this and let's make this active camera okay now select this camera and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation as you guys can see we can rotate it like this okay now select select this let's rotate it like this let's make this 25 create one keyframe press s create one keyframe and press p create one keyframe okay and now decrease the scale a little bit and let's disable the snapping we will bring make sure this make is at the center okay then go first of all let's go when all animation is done so i'm going to select this and move this over here then go few frame forward let's make this minus 25 and let's bring down this position over here so if you see we will get something like this let's move this over here and now we need for one one second gap so i'll go to around two second 
I'll go to around 3 seconds and I'll move this over here like this then we'll go to around 1 4 second create another keyframes over here we will delete the scaling keyframes we don't need that anymore then go to around 5 second we will again make this 25 and we will bring down the position downwards towards this better then go to around 6 second create another keyframe go to the 7 second over here let's make this minus 25 uh, let's bring this down to every day and let's move this position a little bit over here so it will be properly in the center like this also at this point our position should be over here a little bit copy this keyframe go over here paste it sorry we don't need to do that i think this looks good this 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 now let's try to adjust it again this make text is should be properly at the center so i'll adjust the position accordingly at this point again this yourself should be properly at the center so copy this keyframe hit ctrl c go over here hit ctrl v similarly at this point this better text should be properly at the center copy this keyframe go over here hit ctrl v and this everyday text also properly at the center then go to around 8 second create another keyframe go to the start over here also create one keyframe at scale go to the 9 second and let's make this 100 and let's make this 0 rotation and let's bring this over here and let's bring this over here okay now select those keyframes all of them and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so you will get this kind of animation now all we need to do is we need to do one by one adjustments so first this make should start to animate around one second i'm going to select those keyframe and i'll move this over here then at this point i want this yourself should animate so i'll move this yourself over here so this will animate then at somewhere around at this point i want this better text should animate so with the help of open square bracket i'll move that better text over here let's add this a little bit over here like this then somewhere around at this point i want this everyday text should animate so i'll move this everyday text over here like this now we will go to the make and we will delete this i mean we will uh, uh, hide this red layer so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of stuff okay now we will double click to open this not double click but double a and we will enable depth of field like this and let's uh, increase the aperture value to 200 like this and uh, blur value to 200 also let's increase the focus distance somewhere around 2000 or let's say 1000 800 let's see yep i 
I think 700 looks good. Or let's say 500. Okay. So first make yourself. Let's make this blur value 100 only. Beta. Then every day. And then and then at this point we will create the focus distance keyframe aperture keyframe and uh, yeah two is enough uh, and then we will change the focus distance to 800 or something and select those keyframe and hit f9 and aperture value to 400 maybe like this or let's say 300 select those keyframe and hit F9 like this okay then right click new and create one null object make sure to enable this 3d icon select this null 2 and make it apparent with this 3 select this press P alt click on this uh, position keyframe and apply wiggle hit enter and inside that type 2 comma 2 comma 2 three times so now along with this animation you will get a little bit of wiggle effect also and if you want then you can make it three comma also like this But 3 comma 3 looks quite weird so let's stick with 2 comma 2 only. So yep this is how you can create this kind of 3D text animation inside of After Effects like this. And if you want uh, then another thing you can do you can select all of them hit ctrl D and let's bring them at backward and uh, change the color of this one to red for example. And press P I'll go to the top view and I'm going to change the Z position over here and if you go to the active camera you will get extra layers like this okay and press ctrl shift C and let's call it as extra and enable this icon and I'm going to convert this layer into 3d press P for position and let's go to the top view again and as you guys can see i can adjust the layers like this now over here press t for opacity and let's change the opacity to 80 and go to the active camera view and if i see this over here i'll get this kind of stuff let's make this opacity 30 i'll get this kind of stuff okay and I'm going to select this and let's make this opacity 10 only and go to the effect and presets and apply blur effect I'm going to apply Gaussian blur and increase the value to 20 like this and if you want you can press P and you can change the position of it so this is how you can create this kind of 3d text animation inside of after effects like this